Hello friends, 2.4 liter engine, 170 horsepower. It was developed jointly by Hyundai and Mitsubishi. This unit is presented among 90% of offers in the secondary market. The rest of the motors are quite rare on the market. These are 2 liter gasoline aspirated, 158 horsepower, and turbo diesel with pump nozzles developed by Volkswagen, 140 horsepower. The latter in 2010 gave way to a 2.1 liter Mercedes turbo diesel, OM651, 136, and 163 horsepower. Diesel engines were intended for the European market. Gasoline engines are very reliable. A durable chain is used to drive the timing. The valve clearance is adjusted by adjusting the tappets. However, this is not usually necessary. Interruptions in the engine, as usual, are caused by a faulty throttle. By 100 to 150,000 kilometers, plastic gears wear out. Less often, the electrical board fails. Sometimes the catalyst fails. In some cases, it was necessary to change the bursting exhaust manifold. In older specimens with a mileage of over 250 to 300,000 kilometers, oil consumption increases. Usually, the disease is eliminated by replacing the valve stem seals. In extreme cases, stuck rings are the cause of increased oil consumption. Diesel versions were equipped exclusively with six-speed mechanics. Sometimes it had to be repaired after 250 to 300,000 kilometers. Gasoline engines were combined with both a five-speed manual and a CVT2 variator. The Japanese JF-011E, continuously variable transmission manufactured by JATCO, was installed in many cars of various brands, Nissan, Mitsubishi, Renault. Contrary to fears, the variator is quite reliable. However, some owners had to go to the service after 150 to 200,000 kilometers to repair the box. At the same time, many CVTs do not cause problems for 250 to 300,000 kilometers. In the fall of 2013, the CVT gave way to the Hyundai Powertech 6F24 six-band automatic. The box has been used in many cars and has proven itself well in terms of endurance. So far, there are no problems with the machine and in the compass. Jeep Compass is presented in both front-wheel drive and all-wheel drive versions. All-wheel drive could only be cars with a 2.4 liter gasoline engine and a turbo diesel. They were equipped with the Freedom Drive system, which connects the rear wheels in case of slipping of the front ones. An electromagnetic multi-plate clutch with the possibility of manual blocking was responsible for this. The all-wheel drive system is reliable. However, after 150 to 200,000 kilometers, there are leaks of the working fluid from the transmission units. The seals will need to be replaced. McPherson struts work on the front axle of the Jeep Compass, and a multi-link scheme, four levers per wheel, on the rear axle. As part of the modernization of 2011, the chassis received new springs, shock absorbers, and a larger diameter rear stabilizer. If the silent blocks of the front suspension usually reach 100 to 150,000 kilometers, then the rear ones can give up already after 50 to 80,000 kilometers. Ball bearings usually get tired by 100 to 150,000 kilometers. In the segment of 100 to 150,000 kilometers, shock absorbers also have to be updated. In older specimens that were operated in the conditions of salty winters, it is sometimes necessary to change a rotten front or rear subframe. Wheel bearings will last over 100 to 150,000 kilometers. The front ones are changed separately and the rear ones are assembled with the hub. Closer to 200,000 kilometers, the steering rack may knock or leak. Questions about the quality of painting arose in copies of 12 to 14 years. Peeling of paint was observed along the edge of the hood. In older specimens, traces of corrosion can be found on the bottom of the doors and trunk lid. 
After 100 to 150,000 kilometers, the steering column cable may fail. In this case, an error appears on the airbag. The sound signal and the radio control buttons on the steering wheel do not work. Sometimes the motor for driving the air circulation damper also gives up. And after 250,000 kilometers, the heater radiator may require attention. Another weak point is the relay block. It is located in the wheel arch under the left headlight. The block is not tight enough due to moisture, contacts, relays, and wiring rot. As a result, the operation of the engine, cooling system, gearbox, or all-wheel drive system is disrupted. Makes itself felt and wiring. For example, due to corrosion of the wiring in the left threshold, the all-wheel drive system ceases to function. Or the wiring is frayed in the area of the variator shield, in the niche of the front left wheel which leads to malfunctions in the variator and an erroneous sentence of the box. If you know of other model malfunctions, be sure to write about it.